Hello everybody, Bricks for Dom here. Today I'm back in my LEGO Minecraft world, and today I'm going to be building almost all of a desert LEGO Minecraft set. So today I'm going to build the dungeon, the desert outpost, as well as Steve's desert expedition. But don't worry, as we'll also build a few other smaller sets. Now you might be wondering what other desert sets I won't be building this video. Well, that will be the village as well as the illager raid. Now when it comes to the village, we can see that there's a corner of a desert biome, but I won't be building a village this video since it is a very large set and it needs some more planning. And if any of you want to see me make the village, well this video will have to hit 15 likes. Now we have a set that I won't be making is going to be the Illager Raid since it has a section of a savanna biome sticking out and the only other savanna set that we have so far is the massive llama village. So that is also going to need some more planning. So how about I stop yapping and get to building. Alright, so the first set that I'm going to build is going to be the dungeon and I'm going to build it in this corner so this lava bit that sticks out of the dungeon set will be connected right up against the bedrock adventure set. Alright, so this is the finished result of a dungeon set and it looks pretty alright. It definitely isn't the prettiest set but that is okay as I think it fits in well with the other cave sets. The one thing that I forgot to mention about the other dungeon sets is how accurate are the LEGO Minecraft dungeons to the real ones. So the actual dungeon is simply a cobblestone box with mossy cobblestone on the floor. And well, LEGO didn't get it super accurate, but I mean the dungeon is a boring structure either way and I think the LEGO made it a lot more interesting. Now when it comes to accuracy and how it was and how it was to build this set, well it was fairly accurate except for the back which is a huge mess, but I still tried my best to capture the look by using stairs and slabs, and the detail that I quite like is all of the sand at the top. Now in this picture you can see that there are a few gaps between the dungeon set as well as the bedrock adventure set but I have an idea on how to cover them up. So if any of you who didn't know there are actually these small lego minecraft magazines that have a small minecraft built with them. And so I will be using these magazine builds to cover up these small gaps. So for this gap by the lava I'm going to be using this magazine build to cover it up. So here we go. For the other side I'm going to use one of these blocks that came in the bedrock adventure set to connect all of the different sections together. So there we go. And then the other gaps I will cover up later or in a different video since I'm still trying to figure out what small sets to build in these gaps. But in the meantime how about I cover up this gap. So to cover up this gap I will first build the dripstone cavern since right next to this gap there is a different set with some dripstone so it should blend in well together. Here you go, and just as I thought, it looks fantastic. And now to cover up what is left of the gap, I'm going to build this small magazine build, just like that. And now everything looks very nice and flush. I simply need to find the set to build in the middle, but how about we move on back to the desert sets. Alright, so the next set that I'm going to build is going to be the desert outpost, and I'm going to build the back of a desert outpost right up against the dungeon set, so here we go. This is a desert outpost and it turned out pretty cool. Now unfortunately this set doesn't have a lot of color, it is mostly grey and dark grey. One of our buildings do have a wooden roof which looks nice and I did try to mix in some cobblestone just for some more texture. Overall it looks pretty simple all around. The one side it does, has, it does have a small water section with a farm and you can row down it with a boat which is nice. And I hope that I will be able to connect another set that has some water over here just so I could continue the water. I really like that the guard tower does have access and there is also a small simple TNT launcher which works well but it does destroy power to the build. Inside the house there is simply a bed and that is about it. Now unfortunately there is a 2x3 gap in between the dungeon and the desert outpost which looks horrible. And I might be thinking that this gap is going to stay like this for a long time. But don't you worry because the magazines have our back. So in the gap I had built this magazine build and I think it looks very nice since it blends both of the sets together. So now let's move on. Alright, so the next set that I'm going to build is going to be Steve's Desert Expedition, but before I do that, I did forget to talk about the accuracy of a Desert Outpost set, and while being completely honest, the set is fairly accurate, the only difficult thing with the set was trying to find a great spot to build it, since the outside of the set has a lot of blocks sticking out, so Steve's Desert Expedition is a really small set, and I'm going to build it right in front of a Desert Outpost. Alright, so this is Steve's Desert Expedition, once again, it is a really nice small set, fairly accurate. The way that I made the tent was by simply using quartz stairs which looks great but strangely enough I only just found this out but you actually can't place a cactus right next to a fence post as well as other certain blocks which is really weird so that is one inaccurate thing. So instead of placing it right next to a tent I just simply built the cactus right in front of a desert outpost set and slowly but surely the desert is expanding. 
Also, if any of you are wondering what are these blocks with red sand, well I've been starting to brainstorm ideas on where I will build some of the bigger LEGO Minecraft desert sets, like the village. I also was potentially thinking of building this build from a crafting box 2.0 set, since when I made the video of me building the crafting box 2.0 set, there were two builds that I hadn't yet built, but for now I decided to not build this build yet, since it is a transition from the plains to the desert biome, and I think that it will be risky building it, before I had built some of the bigger LEGO Minecraft desert sets, like the desert village and so on. But I mean yeah, everybody, this is going to be up for this video, just kidding, I will still build at least one more set which is going to be my first adventure, the LEGO Minecraft Earth set. Now you might be thinking, how am I going to build this set since it isn't a regular Minecraft set? Well unlike the dungeon or legend sets, the actual build for this set is really similar to all of the other LEGO Minecraft builds, the only difference are the mobs, so I'll simply build the build since I am capable of doing that and the mobs I won't be able to spawn in since they aren't vanilla Minecraft mobs, and the place where I'm going to build this set is going to be in this corner right next to a bed Rock adventure set as well as the rabbit ranch. Alright everybody, so this is the first adventure set actually built and it looks pretty fantastic. This set has three different levels, there's the ground floor, the second floor as well as the third floor. So overall this set was pretty simple and accurate to build, but it did still take quite a lot of time to build since it is a pretty sizable set. So the first floor there's a little pool of water with a waterfall as well as this little track of rails. So this is the one inaccurate thing about this set, in the actual set the rails go straight, but the rails cover up the space of two whole blocks, so just so everything is symmetrical and so that I don't get OCD, I decided to make a circle which is slow but fun, and on the second floor there's some ore as well as another track of rails, and then on the third floor there's some grass as well as sand with a few trees as well as other utility blocks, so once again the trees aren't accurate to vanilla trees which is fine, but we do actually have a slightly different design from the other oak and birch trees, which I don't mind as I like the variation and something that also works super well in my favor is the fact that there is access to all of the levels since I built the set right next to a bedrock adventure set and so you could use these ladders to jump onto the second and third floor which is fantastic and we also think that this set blends in super nice with all of the other cave sets which looks exquisite and I also like the fact how the set is fairly consistent with all of the other cave sets with the fact that there is grass at the top since I think that the story makes sense for all of these caves is the fact that before this this was a huge mountain and there were a bunch of caves inside the mountain so some of the residents of this world mined out the whole mountain as well as caves to discover the mountain secrets and so all of the places with grass and trees could be considered as the top of a mountain. One thing that I did want to show is how it looks from this side which looks very nice but we do want to build a set in the future to cover up this lava since I'm not the biggest fan of how it looks. But I mean yeah everybody, this is going to be end for this video, I'm sorry that it took such a long time to make but I hope it was worth it, I made a lot of progress with this video since I did manage to somehow build 8 different builds, now yes, most of those builds were very small, but 3 of them were still pretty large, so thank you for watching, Bricks of them out, goodbye.